not telling their mom that I was gay. Es un joto. As kids, we're taught that boys do not behave like girls. We do not, I wasn't, I was taught that you don't act like a little girl, you don't put dresses on, you don't put heels on, you don't put makeup on, you don't play with dollies or anything like that. My name is Christopher Ramirez, and I'm from Merced, California. I've been there for 11 years now, just celebrating 11 years as a writing faculty member for the Merit Writing Program for the University of California, Merced. And today we're over here at the Rimberg at the LGBT Center in Los Angeles, California, where I'm going to be performing Cala Bonita. Even in 2019, queer Latino men, many of them are living in fear, many of them have absolutely, they're not empowered, they have absolutely no confidence. Many of their families and their closest friends don't know. And that to me is very troubling that we have a society where um, that disempowers and disenfranchises. So Color Bonita is a project that I started in graduate school, which goes back to 2004. Well, oftentimes, um, in looking at literature and in looking at movies and looking at television, uh, I never really saw myself reflected. Um, and when I say not seeing myself being reflected, I mean the, the part of myself of being a gay Latino man. But I decided that in order for me to find out more about myself, I needed to go out into the world and interview other Latino gay men to find out more about our history. A lot of these men were actually closeted. A lot of them didn't even identify as being gay. Um, some of them identify as being bi, or some of them identify as being on the down low. What I started to see is similarities in just meeting these men socially and getting to know them were things that really affected them in their coming out stage or things that prevent them from feeling um, empowered. It had a lot to do about the family and the Latino family. Uh, the Latino family, the family is, is the epicenter of our lives. Um, and given that we come from a very machista culture, um, the idea of coming out or even identify or even like being gay is a very difficult thing for gay men to um, disclose to other folks. I never wanted to go play outside with my siblings, so I was considered a sissy or, or I was beginning to be called faggot. But I didn't know it, it, at that time what it really meant. I really did not know. What this project has done is that it has become a, cre uh, a moment for us of testimony that we often don't hear in our society. And even today with, with social media, um, these narratives are not often, um, it's not something that we often come across. And the idea of witnessing and testimony. So I think that if we're going, for us to have collective change, for something to change, not only do we need testimony, but we need somebody to witness it. So in the performance space, you know, when people come to see Color Bonita, it becomes a, pay, a, a space of testimony and it becomes a space of witnessing. And through the testimony and through the witnessing, either individually or also collectively, we could actually have a, an opportunity for there to be a, a transformation that will occur. And oftentimes from the other interviews I've actually had on stage with, with um, other Latino men, um, one of the things that they have often shared with me is how incredibly empowered that experience um, felt for them. Um, and that it gave them a little bit more courage to sort of go into the world and feel a little bit more comfortable about who they are. I didn't care who it was. I didn't care what it was becoming. I didn't care if I died or I lived. I didn't, but at that point, I was uh, trying to commit suicide. I, I was just a mess. I was homeless. I lived in my car for a year. Um, and for about two years, I was lost. And so I didn't value myself. I started valuing myself more and more when I said, wait a minute, I had to really just take a long walk on the beach. People are going to experience when they see Color Bonita, my own, where I was at and where I am now, and even some of the trauma that, I, that I'm still daily struggling with myself um, as an artist, um, as a human being in this world. So I hope people come out to see Color Bonita. I hope this is the beginning of of another national tour of Color Bonita. Um, I think that, that there's, there's, a, there's a vacuum for this, an incredible amount of vacuum for this, and I hope this is the very beginning of what's to come.